So the second type of acids and bases are Lewis acids and bases. Right? So until now, whatever we were doing, we were doing based on Bronsted acids and bases. Right? <clears throat> now, if you look at an example like this, right? so if I have, let's say, an example like this, <clears throat> then how do I find out which is acid, which is a base? Right? So until now, what we were relying on, we were relying on a proton. Right? So anything which has a proton is an acid. Right? But in this case, there is no proton. Okay? And anything which has electron pair was a base. Right? So do we have electron pair? Yes, we have electron pairs on chlorine. Right? So chlorine should have electron pairs. Right? So we have a base with electron pair, but we don't have an acid. But in that situation, we cannot apply a Bronsted acid base um, <clears throat> theory. Instead, we are looking at Lewis acids and bases. Okay? So what are the Lewis acids? By definition, Lewis acids are electron pair acceptor. Okay? And Lewis bases should be then electron pair donor. So anything which has electron pair, okay, that can be a Lewis base. So this is your Lewis base, let's say, because we have electron pair. Okay. So electron pair that can be a negative charge or electron pair. Okay. So it can be in two types. Okay. So that those are your Lewis bases in general. Okay. So what are Lewis acids then? So Lewis acids are Either whenever you see aluminum, right? So usually transition metals. So if you see aluminum, boron, iron, so aluminum, iron, boron, or carbon plus. Okay. So anytime you see these four <clears throat> elements, okay, in your reaction, okay. You call those as Lewis acids. So these are the common ones. There are a few more, but mostly we use these four. So these are the Lewis acids. Okay. So now aluminum cannot stay as just aluminum by itself because aluminum can form three bonds. So it is in the form of either AlCl3 or AlBr3. The same is true for iron. Iron cannot be just by itself. Okay. So they are attached to something else. But again, what you're focusing on is these elements. So do you have aluminum? Do you have iron, boron, or carbon plus? You see any time any of these, then they are your Lewis acids. So they will accept the electron pair. Right? So electron pair acceptor is your Lewis acid. So they will accept electron pair from the base. Right? So now in this case, you see aluminum, so that will be your Lewis acid. Okay, that's how you find out this is a Lewis acid based reaction. Just look at these four. If you have that, then close your eyes and call it as a Lewis acid based reaction. All right. So <clears throat> then go by definition is when you mix them together Lewis acid is electron pair acceptor so it will accept electron pair from the chlorine because chlorine has electron pair here okay because that will be your base then all right so Lewis acid is your aluminum and that's your Lewis base so electron pair donor electron pair acceptor so aluminum and chlorine should form the bond right so whenever they donate or they share electrons there should be a bond Right. So aluminum is gaining electrons, so that should get a negative charge. And chlorine can only have one bond. If you put a second bond on chlorine, it should get a plus charge. Okay, so this is your product. Okay. Now in case of Lewis acids and bases, we don't have a conjugate acid and conjugate base because you only get one product. Okay. So in this case, don't have to write conjugate acid, conjugate base. Okay. If you take another example here. <clears throat> Let's say you have water, H2O, and we have AlCl3 or AlBr3, it doesn't matter which one. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right. So aluminum is your Lewis acid, so let's just write down Lewis acid. That means automatically this will be your Lewis base. Okay. So Lewis base is electron pair donor, and Lewis acid is electron pair acceptor. So there should be a bond with oxygen and aluminum. So oxygen will form the bond with aluminum. And that is your Br3. So aluminum becomes negative and oxygen has how many bonds now? Oxygen has 
three bonds, two already have hydrogen, and the third bond with the aluminum so should get the plus charge. All right. Again, make sure that you take care of the charges here. So who is gaining electrons and who is losing electrons? So whoever is gaining electrons should get the negative charge, and who is losing should get the plus charge. All right. <clears throat> so these three are pretty much the same. Okay. Let's do one example with carbon plus. So you have an example like this, and you have, let's say in this case, we just throw the water. Right. <clears throat> so we have a carbon plus. Carbon plus is your Lewis acid. So let's write down this as a Lewis acid. That means this should be a Lewis base. So Lewis acid is electron pair acceptor, and this is electron pair donor. So electron pair will... Okay, that's how we show that it's donating electron pair to form a bond, right? So the carbon right there has the positive charge that will form a bond with oxygen, <clears throat> right? Our oxygen has two hydrogens already on it, right? So how many bonds carbon has? Carbon has four bonds already, right? So there should not be any charge on it, but oxygen has three bonds, so that should get a plus charge. All right, so make sure you take care of the formal charges like this. All right, so we saw all the examples with aluminum and boron. These three are same, so you can have AlBr3 or AlCl3, same way is FeCl3N, or you can have BF3 like this. Okay, so three halogens, but again, you're looking at your Lewis acid center, which is the either aluminum, iron, boron, or carbon. So that's our last category of Lewis uh, uh, acids and bases. So we learned two different theories, bronze acids and bases and Lewis acids and bases. Okay, and there are two different ways to handle them. Okay, um, don't forget that in case of Lewis acids, we don't have a conjugate acid and a conjugate base. Okay, though, we only get one product in this case. All right. <clears throat>